the wife says to me one day, she says, Matt, you're going to renovate our mudroom. I says to my wife, oh yeah? What do you want me to do? She says she got this idea of Pinterest to do horizontal wainscoting. So I grab my stud finder and mark all the studs using a level and a pencil. I bought some eight foot pine plank paneling and aired it out overnight. My hammer and pry bar sure came in handy for pulling off the crappy old baseboards that I shouldn't have bothered saving. What a freaking mess. Thank God for the old shop vac. You need a clean working environment. I'm only gonna show you this once but I must have made a million angled cuts with the old single bevel compound miter saw. You ain't gonna find any butt joints in my mudroom. Tappity tap tap tap, lots of hammering and nail punching. Hammering the first course into place sets the foundation for the rest of your horizontal boards. You gotta check for level. Fit the next piece into place and check for level and make sure you use a nail punch to countersink your finishing nails. Otherwise, it's gonna look like crap. Row upon row, course upon course, making sure everything fits nice and tight. And whatever you do, always keep checking for level. Imagine what the ancient pyramids would look like if they didn't bother checking for level. Now I know what you're thinking. This is gonna take forever. That's why I've employed some video magic to speed things along up until we hit our first uh, roadblock. The freaking window. I can't fit a full width underneath the sill. So what do I do? I clamp a plank to my work table and rip it with my trusty jigsaw. Look at that! And it fit into place perfectly. After that, it was a snap to finish off the outside wall. Words to live by though, measure twice, cut once, and if you're gonna make a mistake, better to be on the long side, cause once you go too short, you end up with a lot of firewood. In this corner here, I went the extra mile and covered the dry event with paneling. There are no nails or glue holding those pieces into place, just friction. As you can see, I'm using some more video magic. Lots of uh, cutting, hammering, punching, cutting, hammering, punching, cutting, hammering, punching, until finally, all the walls are paneled. Look how nice everything looks, huh? I cut my shoe moldings using quarter round finger joint pine. I primed all the pine with shellac primer. It's the only thing that'll seal the knots. Watch carefully, you'll notice a color transformation, even though the chair rail has yet to be installed. I thought it would be easier to pre-paint all the chair rail and shoe moldings before installation. And wouldn't you know it, I was right. Now here's a little tool that I love. Now, I'm not one for endorsements, but what the hell. I decided to drill pocket holes into my chair rail, lined up with the wall studs for uh, easy installation. I'm using the Craig Jig Jr. How easy that was! Unfreaking believable! Place the pre painted, pre cut, pre pocket hole chair rail above the paneling, then drill into place. I later used plumber's putty to fill the holes in the chair rail, then touch them up with some paint, and you'd never know it! The corner round under the chair rail not only looks fabulous, but also provides extra support. Remember to countersink those finishing nails, people. Finally, the chair rail is fully installed and looks great. There's only one thing that'll make it look even better. Time to load my gun with cock. 
cocking. You've seen me do this before in my bathroom, so here's the abridged version. Now doesn't that look great? Ready for the big reveal? What a freaking difference! For once, the wife was right! She customized the curtain to replace the useless old sliding door for the closet. She hung a rustic looking mirror on the wall. She carefully placed a mustard colored wire basket on the floor. She had me install this snazzy new light fixture. She replaced the old mismatched brass hooks with these fine looking black hooks. And she hung this watercolor that my great aunt painted of a duck on the wall. That's it. Cue the theme song. <laughs>